Right, in this video, we're going to look at adding new web pages to your R Markdown website. Let's see what we're looking at here. I've loaded up my current website. Uh, this is an older version than what we've seen in class. So, for example, I haven't edited uh, my journal page where you would be working on these different problems. And I haven't renamed anything. So, if you're wondering how to rename these things, uh, get to work on your web page where you're uh, solving some of the R problems, and then how to add new pages, uh, follow along with this video. Okay, I've opened up my R Studio with all of the relevant files, and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is make a couple changes to the index.rmd. So if you didn't have that open already, you can just click on the index.rmd file. I'm going to give it a title, Matt Learns R, and I'm going to change this to Matt Learns R, press save, and I'm going to knit that. So we've changed this part of the website, it says Matt Learns R. We still haven't changed uh, this part here that says My Lab Journal. Now that's being controlled in an important file, it's underscore site.yml. Let's open up that. I'm going to change both of these to Matt Learns R, and again, Matt Learns R. Let's save that because it's going to compile. And now we've changed this part of the website. All right. We currently have a journal.rmd file. The contents of this file control what is displayed on the journal page link. So currently there's a bunch of stuff there. I am going to, let's see, customize this a little bit. Instead of calling it journal, I'll call it R basics. Press save. And I'm going to delete everything except down to problem one. And so this would be examples of me trying to solve problem one and problem two and so on with code. If I save and knit that, what we should see, and we can bounce that out here, we should see that uh, change the title here and We've got problems one, two, three. We still haven't changed the name up here in the link. There's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, uh, we have the site file and it is controlling the name journal and change that to our basics. It's also being pointed to a particular HTML file. So right now, when you knit this journal.rmd file by pressing this button or by building the website, it will create an HTML document and put it in the docs folder right here. You can see it by pressing docs. You can see there it is, journal.html. I'm going to change some of this behavior. First of all, I want to point this to our basics.html. We haven't made that yet, so we won't find anything if it looks for it. I want to rename the journal.rmd, so I've just clicked on it, and click rename. I'm going to call it our basics. There we have it. Uh, there's a few things we don't need anymore, so these journal cache, journal files, we can delete those. Now when we open up our basics, uh, first of all notice we have a new file here, rbasics.rmd, but we haven't compiled this yet, we haven't knitted it. So it hasn't created a rbasics.html file. Let's see what happens when we press knit. Okay, we see that the R Markdown document knits properly. And if we 
go into the docs folder, so learn our docs, we can see that there is now an rbasics.html file. These two leftover files, journal, we can delete those as well. Alright, so at this point, if we were to build the entire website, I already have it loaded up in this browser, I'm just going to reload it. Oh, it can't find that file. Um, let's close this. We'll open it up again, clicking that button. Now we've got an R Basics tab, and things look to be working out pretty well. So throughout the course, uh, once in a while, I'll be asking you to make another tab for another page to do a different kind of assignment. So how would you add another page to your R Markdown website? We've got to do a couple things. First of all, let's look back at the site.yml file. Basically what's going on here is any time you add this, basically two lines of code, the first one text and a name, and then href and point it to an HTML file, you'll be able to add uh, a new tab on your website. So I want to add a new tab. I'm going to take the one in the middle called our basics, copy it, and paste it in there. And let's call the new one our functions. One of your assignments is going to be learning about our functions. So if this is the name, our functions. I'm going to point it to an HTML called rfunctions.html and I'm going to have to make a new rmd file. One way to do this is to copy an existing one that you know works. So we know that our basics works. Let's go find our basics. Here it is. I'm going to click this and under more we can make a copy. So let's give this the name rfunctions.rmd, press OK. Now we've made a new R Markdown document called rfunctions. Let's open that up. Here it is, it's opened up. It has the name, it has all the stuff that our basics contained. So let's change the name of this to rfunctions. And I'm going to go down and well, let's just write a couple things. Here is where you will complete your assignment about R functions. We'll save that. And let's try building the entire website now. All right, and take a look at it. As you can see, we've added another page called R functions. When we go there, uh, you can see the compiled R Markdown document. So that's adding another page to your website. I mean, you can keep going on like this, adding more pages to your website. I want to show you one more useful thing to know, and that is serving pages that aren't necessarily listed on your website. For example, let's do this. Let us create a brand new R Markdown document. I'm going to call it new doc. And I'm going to save this. It's asking me where I want to save it. I'm just going to create a new folder and let's call it some pages. So here we've made a new folder called some pages and I'm going to save it as new doc. All right. I'm just going to delete this stuff and call this a test page. So if I knit this our markdown document 
just got a simple little website here. It's got a title, my name, the date, and just a little bit of what I wrote, a test page. I haven't defined this anywhere here. So when we build the website, and look at it, we don't see that new page anywhere. However, it has still been compiled into your docs folder. So if we were to go in the docs folder, let's take a look at what we find. We now find uh, a copy of the some pages folder that we made. So this folder has been copied into the docs folder. And if we go in there, we will see both the RMD file and the HTML file have been copied in. And so if you know where these files are, you can find them on your website. For example, we're just using my file system here, uh, but we know that there are some files in the, what did we call it? Let's see where it is. Docs, some pages with a capital P. Let's try that, some pages. And then in there, new doc.html. New doc.html. So if we click this, it'll actually take us to that page. And uh, this can be a, a useful thing, a useful function to know about. All right, so we've built our page. We see that there's a bunch of changes listed in GitHub Desktop. I'm just going to summarize them. Add new page. Got to make my screen bigger to commit this to the master. So I've committed the change. Now I need to push to the origin. All right, it should have pushed those changes. And the next time you reload your website from the URL, you should be able to find it. And can I remember how to get there? Let's see if I can quickly figure out what that URL was. It's right here, I'm already logged in. All right, and remember, if you can't remember your URL, you can click on settings and it'll be listed right here for you. So if I copy this into my browser, we're now online and you can see some of the new things we've added are here. And just to demonstrate, if we do that trick from before, I think it was some pages and new doc.html. Oh, that wasn't exactly right. Some pages with an S. All right, so that hidden web page is also being served. And if you were to link to it uh, somewhere else on your web page, it would show up for people. All right, so that's adding a new web page to your R Markdown document.